everybody, my name is Zachary Reclaim the Third, and my strange addiction is hitting the low. So the woe has done so much for me in my life and it's most definitely changed my life for the better. There's not a day I go where I'm not craving the feeling that the woe gives me inside of my soul. Okay, so it all started back in sixth grade when I was walking down the hallway during passing period. Everybody in the hall I guess was late to class so they were all running and shoving and just being chaotic monsters and me, me being the small little white chicken little built body boy, I was scared. I was petrified. I just stood to myself and I stayed to the edge of the hallway and I just avoided all the big cyclops monsters pushing out of the way. And I was so scared that day that I didn't even realize that the cutest girl in school that everybody at Hernandez Middle School had a crush on and knew that that ass was banging. Everybody knew this and I was just so scared I didn't even realize it until one moment when she dropped her books right in front of me, just dropped them. And she obviously had to bend over to grab the books. So when she bit over, I was just there and I was just like, and when she had dropped over, like, it was this weird, strong, powerful feeling that literally, like, it took over my, my body and soul, and I, I couldn't help but to, whoa, in the moment. And that day, I wasn't too sure what had happened and, like, what exactly that whole was, but it was a feeling that I knew was undeniable, and I knew that I would never, ever be able to forget about it. Ever since that day, hitting the woe has taken over my life. I hit the woe when I when I first wake up in the morning, um, when I'm taking a shower, when I'm cooking goddamn flapjacks on the skillet, and even when I'm releasing a fat load into the toilet, I am always hitting the woe. Now, the only downfall about this whole situation and me hitting the woe is uh, I've lost a lot of friends to this. I literally tried convincing them that this was something out of my control. No matter what I did or what I said in my prayers, I could never get the woe out of my soul. My friends would claim that it was embarrassing for them. It, like, it just would embarrass us as a group when we were out and I would always do that. Or they'd be like, yo, you look like a stupid ass crackhead when you do that. Like, why are you doing that? Do you know I scratched his ass? <laughs> After that, they completely vanished, blocked my number, and I never saw them again. Hold on, I need a moment, I need a moment. It's okay. If it makes you happy, that's all that matters. <sighs> it's okay though, because ever since that day, I've picked up a new group of friends that, that, that love me, and, and appreciate me, and not only me, but the god whoa! And since I've surrounded myself with these people, I, I don't think I've ever been happier. Thank you guys so much for watching my Strange Addictions interview. I hope a lot of you can learn from this and know that you're okay the way you are. And if you like to back, 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 back that ass up and whoa, you back that ass up and whoa, baby, for real. Oh, by the way, I still don't have pants on, but it's okay. Coming next week on Strange Addictions with Zach. I really just don't know what it is about socks, but something about socks really, it really gets me going.